Okay, guys, we're going to try this again. Seems like every time I make this video, something messes up or I forget something. Uh, but I've been promising to make this video on uh, the Helix uh, pedal drive for my Wilderness Systems Radar 115 Kayak. And like I say, anything I post is totally unscripted, unrehearsed, unedited, unmonetized. Uh, I only do this because I do it. That's it. But anyway, you won't get more real than this. But anyway, I just wanted to talk about the, uh, the Helix pedal drive system for this kayak. For those of you that may have a Wilderness Systems kayak, there's several of them. I think the Tarpon, uh, of course, the uh, uh, Radar, I got and a couple others that are already designed for this uh, pedal drive. So... I definitely recommend it, but in ordering the pedal drive itself and actually installing it in my kayak, it was a real ordeal. So if you do order the kit for it or for one of yours, just know that. So anyway, I just wanted to go over the things that uh, were kind of irritating uh, to me, uh, to say the least. So if you do order uh, the pedal drive system, at least you'll have some idea. Uh, you won't be blindsided like I was. So anyway, uh, this is my Radar 115 Wilderness Systems uh, kayak. And of course, when you order the pedal drive system, it's going to come with a package. It's going to have three different, uh, three different kits in it uh, for hardware. And I don't know if you can see this or not. It doesn't look like it's very clear, but this was actually uh, packaged and signed off on manually on August the 3rd of this year, 2022. The initials are N as in November, R as in Romeo, and it's supposed to be a physical check of all the hardware that goes into each particular kit with a check beside it and a sign off saying that they have guaranteed and checked to make sure that everything is included with this kit. Well, if this person with those initials is still working for Wilderness Systems, the company really needs to sit down with them and just have a you know a little basic uh, you know addition and subtraction type class so maybe they can actually count and make sure the the hardware actually gets in there you know uh, I graduated from Mississippi State or what I affectionately like to call the uh, Beverly Hillbillies uh, Jethro Bodine School of Higher Learning they teach us how to read write and cipher and of course even basic ciphering skills, I know how to count hardware. So anyway, enough of the sarcasm. Let's get on with it. So the first thing I noticed when I started putting in this Helix drive is right here, these little tiny screws with these tiny lock nuts. The engineers, I guess, felt uh, probably felt pretty good about putting these little channels on here where the nuts go in between them uh, just to make sure you can you can't get any real tool on these things to hold the, you know, the little uh, uh, nylon lock nuts to be able to turn and get them on there. Even the pliers that they recommend in the uh, instructions uh, barely, barely worked. So that was a real pain in the rear end. Uh, thanks for that, engineers. And then, of course, moving on, that was a hanger bracket. And when I went with the actual hanger latches, I don't know if you can see that, but a couple of screws that go in here which you have to flip up the uh you know the latch to install those screws that's a another real exercise in futility but just so happens it takes four of them two for this side and two for that side how about that four of them well i only received three in my package in my kit so hence my very first trip down to the uh, hardware store to pick up hardware that I was shorted uh, when my kit was sent to me. And just to let you know, uh, Wilderness Systems did a factory video on the installation of this pedal drive. It was done in 2017. It's a very nice professional video. It shows the factory guy going through and installing all this stuff. I mean, in a matter of probably an hour or maybe a little over an hour. Everything goes together perfectly. All the hardware's there. The hardware that is there is adequate for the purpose. 
and man, it looks like it is just going to be a breeze. Well, just know when you order a kit now in 2022 this year, the instructions are different from what you're going to see on that factory video on YouTube made by Wilderness Systems themselves. The steps are out of order. There are pieces that come in the kit that are not, are not mentioned in the kit from 2017. So I chose to go with the instructions that came with the drive. Uh, if you try and watch the video and then compare it with the instructions that come with the drive, you're going to be very confused. So anyway, enough of that. Now, let's see. I need to roll it out here in the yard so I can flip it over. I'll show you the next issue I had. This was real beauty. Of course, the instructions are very clear that the screws for installing the baffles come pre-installed when you purchase the kayak. So don't worry about it. They're not included in the kit. So these eight screws basically are supposed to be installed in the kayak when the kayak comes. So all you do is you pull them out. You put the bafflers on, you install them with the eight screws, you're done. Well, that would have been fine and good, but I only got six out of the eight screws. So I got shorted there too. Another trip to the hardware store to get a couple of screws to put in there. And it doesn't seem to be random because I had all six screws except for this one and this one straight across from each other. Those two were missing. So... Leads me to believe that they were never installed in the first place. So anyway, after getting through that little hurdle, then it came time to install the, uh, the line guides for the rudder uh, to raise and lower the rudder, these little line guides. Well, they give you these little spacers that your line can pass through. They have to be horizontal, of course, to the kayak for them to work properly. The problem is they give you, uh, I think it's 10 slash 32 screws and three quarter inch. None of the four of those three quarter inch screws will reach the threads. I had to go to the hardware store once again and get an extra quarter of an inch, go from three quarter to one inch just to be able to install these babies. So once again, I was just really proud and I can't even begin to tell you how happy I was. Then, when it came down to installing the rudder, guess what? See how you got, you got uh, uh, three of the little, uh, golly, I can't even think of it now, little O-rings or the, uh, the clips that go in here to hold on either side of the control cable. This is for your left and right rudder. And then, of course, you have one down here at the bottom to hold you know, the actual rudder on, keep it from coming off. Well, I got two out of the three of those as well. So they shorted me that. So another trip to the store and, you know, once again, I think I'm what, up to about four now, just to try and get the parts I need to complete the installation. And it was really difficult getting the slack out of these two rudder lines in order to get the range of movement that you need to be effective in the water. And even though I still don't have complete range of motion, and I worked with this thing a long time, at least it's adequate. It works, and I'm okay with it. So I'm not going to sweat that uh, very much. So anyway, then I come around here, and of course you have the quick connect pin. This little baby here slips right in there. It's what connects the, uh, the actual pedal drive to the bracket right here. Well, first of all, in the bracket, these wonderful little screws right here, the holes did not line up. And it was hell Columbia getting those screws in there because they didn't line up properly. And then once you get that there, the only thing that connects the actual, uh, you know, the uh, uh, pedal drive is through the quick connect little bolt here. Slips right through. And then they call this. Now, here's what gets me. They call this a quick connect and they tell you to go ahead and secure that quick connect. And as soon as you connect it in the next step, they tell you to take it off of there so you can do something different. I don't know what they were smoking when they wrote that, but not only is that a, an unnecessary step, but also 
the engineers put all these wonderful little grooves in here. I mean, this actually looks like the uh, the skin, uh, structural skin of a passenger liner, just to make sure it's all been impossible to try and get this little clip, you know, to connect. So quick connect, I don't think so. Then here's what really got me. Once I got everything done, I'm ready to, to try her out, put her in the water for the first time. You can see the, the play in this thing. It's just that right there with that play is just shoddy engineering. There, there's no way around it. It's just shoddy. Because you can see when I try and lift the pedal drive, the propeller catches every time. I have to lift the entire drive to take the play out of it to get it to fall down into the water, into the hole. Now that was really disappointing. That's just really, really piss poor right there. They, there is no reason for that thing to have that kind of play in it. That was really, really poor. But anyway, that's pretty much uh, in a nutshell my experience on installing the Helix pedal drive on this Wilderness Systems kayak. Yes, I intend to send this video to the factory. I, hopefully they'll learn something from it, maybe do a little better job and make somebody else's life easier. I feel like Wilderness Systems, just like uh, the old town here with the 136 or 135 uh, autopilot, they revolutionized the kayak industry. Just like I feel like that Wilderness Systems could have revolutionized it as well. For having the first kayak that was forward enough thinking to make it uh, pre, you know, basically ready to install either the pedal drive or the motor drive. It just goes in. It's already designed for it. So kudos to them for doing that. But boy, they missed the boat when it came to the marketing and the actual application of the process. So... Anyway, I do intend to, now that I've had it out, I've actually used the pedal drive. I'm going to do a video on um, my actual impressions of how it works. And I will let you know it's going to be a much more happy video than this one. In fact, uh, I have to tell you, once I finally got it installed and got over the absolute well, red ass of trying to install this thing and all the problems I went through, the performance actually exceeded my expectations. So I'll actually do a, uh, another video on that. And then hopefully, now that I get everything ready to go, I can actually, you know, do something fun. Maybe actually catch a fish in a video. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. And have a great rest of your day in tight lines.